Carrie Engel from Valley Bee Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Lisa. And what do you have here today? These are little violas or Johnny Jump Ups. They're like mini pansies. Um, these are wonderful for this time of year. Like if you still have ice and snow, you can still put them in a couple of containers, maybe around the yard right now. But pretty soon they can go in the ground, and they'll go for you till about June, and then they'll kind of settle down a little bit. So even when it goes spring. down to 31 on Friday, oh yeah, they're okay? fine. They'll be fine. Okay. No Party plants. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay, let's get to our questions. Do I have to prune my crepe myrtles every year to get them to bloom? Um, not necessarily. Usually if we had some winter kill, though, it's not a bad idea to go back a little bit. Most people will prune their crepe myrtles back about a third, and they should come back out. And now, well, now up, you really have a couple of months to prune those because they bloom so late in the season. So okay. you're in good shape yet. All right, now that the weather is warming up, how soon can I start planting flowers outside? Well, I think a lot of people, I'm going to put some pansies out this week in pots. I'm very optimistic that we're going to start to see a warm up. And really, as the soil warms up, you can go ahead and get things started. Um, May 15th, like Mother's Day for tomato plants and some of those things, but, but perennials, trees and shrubs, as mm -hmm. soon as that ground's ready, you can start putting them in, as soon as we dry out a little bit. Okay. I have heard March is the month to apply pre-emergent weed killer. Do you, see, do you recommend this? Um, some I do and some I don't. Uh, Pre-emergent herbicides like crabgrass preventer, probably a good time to put down towards the end of March, beginning of April. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other ones I'd wait a little bit for um, and just sort of see again. It's not until the soil reaches a certain temperature, usually 40, 45 degrees, that anything really starts happening. So you've got some time yet. You don't want to do it too early and then create window on the other end for weeds to emerge. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gary. All right. Thank you.